always a pre-flight checklist and there's a reason for that you know for your safety and for uh, everything about it so uh, this ship has a, a, a list and what we do is we untie the blades make sure they're perpendicular um, so that doesn't uh, it's not tied down some there have been this incidences where people forget um, the weight ballast is correct and then what we do is set the altimeter let's first first of all we look up at the panel here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the instrument lights on and then the avionics and you'll see the uh, the panel light up I had this custom cut uh, from the factory it only comes with this and a fuel gauge <laughs> and can you tell the viewers what avionics this is? Sure. This is the uh, MGL Discovery, which is a, uh, a company out of South Africa that does avionics for um, experimental craft. So there's quite a lot of these out there for fixed wing and rotary. But uh, Rotary picked that. <clears throat> anyway, there's many different screens that you can pull from. Uh, even the, It's actually quite versatile. Um, but I've supplemented it with also MGO uh, round gauges, and they're on uh, fully redundant on different uh, sensors. Um, in case the glass goes out, then we have uh, all the readings here. And, and and these come standard. They come with small LEDs, but I've replaced them with big ones and added these as well. So I've actually, yeah, these are warning lights, fuel, and then these are auxiliary things that I can talk about later. Awesome. But you have the compass here. You have the airspeed, vertical speed, and the altitude on this one. You have your split gauge here, the rotor RPM and the engine RPM. And you want to keep those at 100%. Unless you're auto rotating, your engine will drop, but your rotor you want to keep at 100%. Um, this is your engine manifold pressure. Uh, this is your radio and uh, other sensors. And I have a fuel gauge that will do 15 minute trending. It, it's pretty fancy, it's like a pressure sense, it's very accurate. And this is what came with the ship. <clears throat> and uh, the control wise, this is our starter. And the switch, if you look up here, this is your starter right here. Right here. We're gonna turn that off. But once that's thrown, we, when we hit the red button, it'll fire up the engine. Sweet. And uh, this green thing will actually, the radio is pretty nice where it'll replay what was just last transmitted. So if you miss something, you can hit that button, you'll get it again. Um, I've also got a, a night lights hooked up so I can turn on landing lights or whatnot from this here. Um, yeah, this is a this is a non-standard handle. So, yeah. so, so next thing we do is uh, we look at the list. We fasten seatbelts, secure doors. What you do is you check the travel of all controls. Make sure there's no binding. And here's the uh, the, the collective. And uh, of course, I would be in here. We're not going to fire it up, but you do check it. And then first thing you do is you throw the first engine control right here. And uh, it's not lit because the uh, engine's not running. And then I throw the two ignitions. So all eight spark plugs are ready to fire. And then I throw uh, the first fuel pump. You can hear that, right? Yeah, yeah. And once I start up, I uh, once it's running, I'll engage the clutch. And then I'll turn on the second ECU and the fuel. And then as it warms up, I will check the uh, redundancy of the both systems right here. Okay. And uh, lights and the clutch right here. Uh, of course, this is a manual shutoff. I never really use that. Um, it's just an emergency. Okay, and typically when you first start it up, what does it show on your... What are you looking at on the gauges? Like once you, you boost the, the engine, it mm -hmm. starts up. What are, you, what are you looking at to... So I, I hold the starter down until I see the engine hit about 800 or 900 RPM. And then it begins to pick up, and at idle speed is about 1,900. Uh, operating speed at full RPM for the rotor is 3,900 for the engine. Uh, and that corresponds to 520 RPM in the rotor. That's about eight and a half times a second the rotor spins. Jeez. Yeah. The tip speeds will reach uh, 460 miles per hour. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So balancing this thing is a whole whole nother game that uh, I'm still working on. So. Okay. Awesome.